I think it's time for us, long awaited, to hit the sack. Hit the sack. All right. Jen the Sack Sacky comes back to us with, I have to tell you, I, a plethora of misinformation. Man, this woman, she must have just been sitting back at home, chugging chicken soup, watching TV, whatever, and just coming up with new and exciting ways to explain her boss's ineptitude and the administration's lack of, well, doing anything. And uh, one of the questions she got right out of the gate when she came back was from a reporter about this chant that's been that's been all the rage everywhere you go no matter whether you're at a football game or a basketball game or a nascar race or whatever there's all i mean it's everywhere and it's this chant perhaps you've heard it let's go brandon let's go brandon and she was asked about that and the significance of it but in a way that actually sounded like it's a really serious concern for the president or at least should be listen to this across this country we've seen this new phenomenon lately chanted at sporting events and on signs the phrase is let's go Brandon, a sort of code for a profane slogan attacking President Biden. What does the president make of that? And here is her answer. I don't think he spends much time focused on it or thinking about it. I don't think he spends much time focused on or thinking about anything, to be quite frankly, uh, to be quite frank with you. But that's Jen Psaki's big answer. The let's go Brandon chant for like months now has been all the rage. It's been everywhere. And it's not slowing down as these things do. It seems to be even ramping up. Number one on iTunes with the hit rap song song let's go brandon number two with the remix of that same song let's go brandon paraphernalia popping up everywhere uh you, the nas the president of nascar last week had to come out with a statement finally saying we do not condone the use of the let's go brandon chant and we will attack uh, and legally go after anybody who uses nascar logos or symbolism while selling merchandise that has let's go brandon on it, so this is something that's that's a concern. Joe Biden apparently doesn't think about it uh, and doesn't know about it or doesn't concern himself with it. But if you think about it, it's actually a very legitimate question, and maybe he should concern himself. Here's this reporter to explain why. The president said when he came into office on inauguration day, he said he was going to help get rid of the uncivil war in this country. So I guess through that lens right now, does the president think there are things that he can do differently, or how does he react to the stuff he sees out there when it is one of his primary promises or desires to help bring Americans together? And that is a fact. He did say we've got to bring America back together. This is an uncivil war. He wanted to be president for all people people, Democrats and Republicans, and instead, it seems like he's president for nobody. Nobody seems to like this guy. His his uh, approval ratings continue to plummet, da plummet down from 41 to 38 to 37 percent. 70 percent of the country thinks he's pointed us in the wrong direction. 70 percent believe he's not really done anything at all in his almost one year in office. He's already contemplating, the Democrats are contemplating who's going to take his place on the ticket because they know that he's going to be too old and too damaged politically to run for anything else. And the only thing they're left with is Kamala Harris, who's even worse off than he is, or Pete Buttigieg. But it's a very legitimate question. When you campaign on bringing the country together and the entire country is chanting, let's go Brandon, which secretly stands for F Joe Biden, are you not failing miserably in the one thing you said you would do? Here's what Jen Psaki said. Well, it takes two to move towards a more civil engagement discourse in this country. And the president's going to continue to operate, uh, as you said, uh, from the promise he made early on, which is that he wants to govern for all Americans. If he this is governing for all Americans, then clearly he should maybe take a different tact. Maybe he should just govern for a couple of Americans because all Americans aren't buying it. All Americans don't like it. And all Americans are the ones chanting, uh, let's go, Brandon. But she would like you to know that it takes two. By the way, it's not just the president's fault that he's so unpopular, it's also yours. He's going to deliver for all Americans, as is evidenced by the infrastructure bill that he's going to sign uh, on Monday. That's going to help expand broadca broadband to everyone, no matter your political party, no matter whether you voted for him or not. That's going to replace lead, uh, lead pipes, make sure kids have clean drinking water, whether you're a Democrat or Republican or not political at all. That's how he's going to govern, and certainly we're hopeful we'll have uh, 
partners to uh, move toward more civil discourse with in the future. All right, so her answer is yes, the Let's Go Brandon chants, the Let's Go Brandon videos, the Let's Go Brandon songs that you can download from iTunes, the Let's Go Brandon memes, which are everywhere, the Let's Go Brandon merchandise, which you can order online from Amazon and a multitude of other Shopify stores. What's the president going to do about all that? Well, he's going to give everybody fa faster broadband. So now we'll be able to enjoy more Let's Go Brandon stuff and a lot faster. Thanks, Joe Biden.